Our next guest is the director of a documentary that looks at how globalization, foreign trade policy and manufacturing changes are affecting American business. It's called American Made Movie. Vincent Vittorio joins us now. Vincent, uh, is, your, is your documentary basically saying that it's China and trade policy that's killing manufacturing in America? No, it's looking more at the relationship we have to manufacturing. You know, it was this song we played many years ago that we looked at the, you know, what happened in Detroit and other cities, but we're not realizing that manufacturing has changed with the advancements of technology and with the way that we're making things in this country. And we have to stop thinking that it's gone and that, you know, it's not something that our youth should be looking at as, you know, a job for the future. Yeah, do, do we look down on blue-collar manufacturing jobs as a society. Sometimes it reminds me of England, a class-based society. Is it becoming the same in America? We look down on people who work with their hands? I think it, it, it's kind of a different approach. We're, we're not looking at it as a viable career option. And, you know, you've got programs like in your state of New York, like p -Tech, Pathways Technology, that are getting kids into a program earlier so they can realize, is this something that I like? Because right now we're pushing everyone to the four-year degree, which there's nothing wrong with that, but we need to see that it's not right for everyone and that manufacturing yeah. jobs are things that are viable jobs for the youth of today. Yeah, it's nice to hear that, actually, Vincent. Uh, now, look, there are th I believe the documentary says uh, three and a half million manufacturing jobs will open up in the next few years. But there are two million of those jobs which will go unfilled because we don't have the skilled labor to put people in those jobs. Is that accurate? Yes, very much so. I mean, you see what's happening right now with, in the state of Wisconsin with Foxconn, you know, announcing that. A lot of other auto manufacturers opening up. And I think that, you know, forgetting the presidency and any of the politics with that, I think that um, people aren't looking at the next three years, but they're looking at the future of this country. And I think that this is a viable option. Companies believe in the American workforce, and I think they're willing to um, invest in communities. They're going to look at this for the future of our country. Now, do you believe that President Trump, who is big on this, he's big on bringing manufacturing jobs back to America, do you think he's got the right answers? You, you know, I, 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 no comment. I mean, I think it's one of those, I, I can take it from both sides, and I think that ultimately I'm just um, optimistic that um, the leaders of this country, outside of anything political, see where things are going. Our economy is doing great right now. And we're just going to continue to um, put kind of more interest in that, which gets me to the point of I believe in this movie so much that we really want to make it available to everyone. So if you go to the AmericanMadeMovie.com, um, it's free for um, your entire audience using the code AmericanMade17. Okay, so that's the American Movie. Say, say it again. The, the, what is the it? AmericanMadeMovie.com. Yep. The AmericanMadeMovie.com. Vincent Vittorio, thanks very much for joining us. Well, thanks you, so we'll much. We'll get you a few viewers for that, I promise you. Okay, thanks, Vittorio. <laughs>